Right then, so in this video, this is Open BVE, and in this video, we're going to be driving the district's line in the C stock. Yes, I know it's the C stock, I know it's not the S stock, and I know it's not the D stock. So why am I driving the C stock? Well, the S stock is not in a game. Well, it might be actually, but I don't have it. And the D stock wasn't working for me, so therefore I'm having to use the C stock. It's basically the same as the D stock, so let's not have an argument. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be driving this C stock on the district line, and we are currently at Edgware Road. That sign is, um, just, just, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're, we're currently at Edgware Road, and in today's video, we're going to go down to Putney Bridge. So, smash like, subscribe, click the ding dong bell, and let's just straight into this, shall we? So, I've got the map up, so we're at Edgware Road, and today we're going to go down to Patney Bridge. Um, so let's set the train up. So, if I press F1, I go to the cab. So, if I press Z, uh, yeah, that takes the reverser into neutral. No, the throttle into neutral even. Oh, God, moving now. Let me just break. If I press F, if I press F, the reverser goes into forwards. There we go. Right, let's get the uh, the time. So that's control C and the speed con control V. Um, so let's close the doors because we're already a bit late. If I press control T, I actually get the timetable. So it's actually uh, 1.32. I was meant to depart here at 1.29. So yeah, I'm a bit late, but... I'm having to record the intro to this video, so that's why, okay? Right, let's uh, close the doors. I'll get rid of the timetable. Right, and let's go. Let's give a little toot. Yeah. Right, speed limit 25. Uh, let me put this into miles per hour. There we go. Right, let's go. Next stop, Paddington. That sounds quite interesting. Right, here we are at 25 miles per hour, cruising our way to Paddington. And then Bayswater, Notting Hill Gate, High Street Kensington, Station 6. Um, I don't know what that is. Dennis Earls Court, West Brompton, Fulham Broadway, Parsons Green, Putney Bridge. The next station is Paddington. Change here for the Bakerloo, Circle, Hammersmith and City, and Elizabeth Line and National Rail Services. Even though, quite obviously, the Elizabeth Line was not in when this was set. Because, quite frankly, this is probably, I don't know, 10, 15 years old, maybe? Um... And the Elizabeth Line is obviously, what, two years old since the Central Court opened. But we'll just pretend. I don't know if the S-Stock is in this game. If it is, then I'd probably get it. But I haven't found it. I mean, I guess the closest thing that we have to the S-Stock is the 2009 stock. Because they have the same VF drive. But, you know. Right, here we are at Paddington. Let's get a good thumbnail, so that I do not forget. Um, let me just get rid of the map. Okay, I think that's a good thumbnail. Right, let's go back, close the doors, and next station is Bayswater. What's the speed limit? Is it still 25? I guess so. We'll just do, we'll just do 25. Unless the speed limit does increase or decrease, but... You know. Do 
So Bayswater and Queensway are actually two stations very close together and it's actually quicker to walk between them than catch the sub-service line from Bayswater to Notting Hill Gate and the central line from Notting Hill Gate to Queensway. It's actually quicker just to walk between the two. Um, yeah, I think they're only like 400 metres apart maybe, if that. So yeah, of course it's going to be quicker to walk because walking will take like five minutes. Of course the underground will probably take like seven maybe. Um, you know, it's those little small things that people, that tourists forget about when they're in London. They assume that the tube map is a is representative of what you know the real London looks like in terms of where the locations are. No, it's the tube map is simplified so that it makes it easier to look at. It's not necessary to scale. Wow, this is so slow. This is why I don't like the sub-service lines. They're just so slow. I want to go on a deep level tube line, the ones where they accelerate fast, like the Victoria line or the Jubilee line. These these lines are slow. Like having to do 20, 25. Anyways, here we are at Bayswater. Nice. 2.5 meters overrun. Really? No, I think I think that is perfect, don't you? I think that is perfect. Right, let's close the doors. Our next station is Nothing Hill Gate, where we can change there for the central line. Don't know if the speed limit is 25 again, so I'll just do 25. And there we go. Doing a lovely afternoon run in London. 1.37. That's actually... No, it's nowhere near the time which I'm recording. That's what my honour about. It's 5 to 11 in the morning. Right, the next station is Notting Hill Gate. Chain train for the central line. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Wow, those uh, passages are floating. <laughs> oh, the station's just disappeared. Okay. Right, the next station is High Street Kensington. Oh, speed limit 40. Yay, let's go speed. Definitely takes a bit of time to get to 40. They're not the fastest accelerating trains in the world, are they? But here we are. Oh, I might have overshot this a bit. Yep, I've overshot this a bit. Um, ah, um, you know, let's, let's just 
you know, real underground drivers do do this, you know. Let me just like do a thing. Hang on, just bear with me, this is normal. Yeah, just pretend nothing's happened. There we are. See? Nothing bad's happened. I'm only four and a half minutes late. Anyway, so we are at High Street Kensington. Let's go inside the train because I want to. Ooh, so this is the C train, C stock. Let's do this journey in a cab. Right, next station, Station 6. Um, I don't think that station's real. I'm pretty sure the next station in real life is Earl's Court. Also, the speed limit's only 15. So there's a map, so... Circle in Hammersmith City, the rounds like that. We've got the district line. Yeah, yeah, that's real. I mean, I haven't got the metropolitan line, but you know, that's not using the same trains as this. Well, I guess back in those days, the A stop was the Hammersmith and City and Circle. Um, the A stop was the metropolitan, and the D stop were the district. These days, it's all the S stop. When a Metropolitan uses S8 stop, because they have 8 um, carriages, whereas the Circle, House of City and District have 7, so they do yes, 7 stop. Because the Metropolitan 9 trains obviously have the forwards, like, facing seats. Some of the 1972 stop on the Bakerloo line don't have the forwards facing seats. I don't think any other tube line has that, do they? Um, I mean, the Elizabeth line class 345s do, but the Elizabeth line's not an underground line. Oh, I've gone past Station 6 without noticing. I guess it's fine. Earl's Court is the next stop. Yeah, because the C stock is named the C stock because it's used on the circle line. Circle begins with C. And the A stop is called the A stop because the Metropolitan Line terminates at Amersham, which begins with an A, and also Aldgate, which begins with an A. And then the District Line has a D stop because District begins with D. So therefore, D stop for District Line. Hmm, but, you know, things in life which you really don't need to know, but you do. Anyways, coming into the district line hub, Earl's Court. How many places can we go to on a district line from here? Richmond, Wimbledon, Ealing, Broadway, Edgware Road, Upminster, um, that short service to Kensington, Olympia. Please correct your stopping position. Oh, is it bad? Do I have to stop at that T? Um, why, why aren't I moving? Um, hang on, the doors were open, but it didn't accept. Let me just move to the T. Oh. Oh, F5? The F5 doesn't lead you to the platform. Why do I have to open the F5? Like, the, the left doors. Okay, I'll close the right doors then. Oh, okay. No, no! I want to close these doors. Right, so both doors are shut. So why did it not accept these doors, even though the platform's just there? And why did it accept these doors when the platform is not there? That is weird. Right, next station is West Brompton. I might give a little corn, a little toot. Yeah.
Ealing and Richmond trains take the right branch, they do indeed, but then the Wimbledon trains, which is the line that we're on, takes the, less, the left branch. Because if you continue from Putney Bridge, you'll eventually get down to Wimbledon. Um, what stations are there beyond Putney Bridge to Wimbledon? So you've got Southfields, Wimbledon Park and Wimbledon. Oh, and East Putney. East Putney. Can't forget East Putney. Right, speed limit 35. Right, here we are in West Brompton. And we're now outside because we're exiting zone one, we're now in zone two. I don't know what zone um, Putney Bridge is in, is it in three? I guess so. What's Wimbledon in? Is Wimbledon in three or four? I assume three? Maybe? I don't know actually. 20 metres overrun. Oh. Right. Oh. Let me just see. Oh, okay. It's, it's fine. Right, next station is Fulham Broadway. West London Line, South Central, Silver Link on the right. Well, the, sil the Silver Link is now the London Overground, because that line goes down to Richmond. I mean, you've got those weird, stupid names now. What's the Richmond to Stratford line called? I don't even know. I know the, um, the Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside one is the Suffragette line. And then you've got that Upminster to Romford shuttle. That's called the Freedom line. What? That sounds so wrong. Why not call it the Romminster shuttle? Romminster, Romford and Upminster combined. And it's a little shuttle. I think Romminster Shuttle makes more sense. Yeah, I don't even know what the new names are called. I, I, I just can't remember them. You get what I mean? They're not memorable. Like, the, the new overground lines should be based on, like, the location of where they are. Like, the Lee Valley lines, which are the lines from London Liverpool Street up to, like, Chingford and Cheshunt and Enfield Town and all that. That's called the Lee Valley lines because they go past the Lee Valley. Like that, that's a location, it makes sense. It's memorable. But I don't even know what it's now called. What is it now called? Is it like the Windrush line or something? I don't even remember. And then you've got the... Oh, the, uh, the London Euston to Watford Junction line. That's the Lioness line because of um, Wembley, I think. Like Wembley Stadium. I suppose that makes a bit of sense, because Wembley is obviously on that route, but I don't know. I feel like it's weird to name a line after, like, an event. It should be named after, uh, after the location. So the next station is Parsons Green, which is the penultimate stop before Putney Bridge. Is Putney Bridge on, like, the north side of the river or the south? I think it's on the north side, isn't it? Because East Putney is after Putney Bridge, and that's... East Putney's on the south side of the river. Come on train, accelerate. I know we're going up a hill, but, you know, we've got power! Right, here we are in Parsons Green. This is like the part of London which I just don't know. Who knows this part of London, unless you're a resident? I feel like this is the posh part of London, like this is like Chelsea and all that, isn't it? Kensington, Chelsea. They couldn't even decide the name of that borough. I had a lot of arguments. The Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, I think it's now called. But it used to be called just Kensington, I think, and then all the Chelsea people got mad. 
or was it? No, no. I think what happened is that they broke their own rule, didn't they? Because initially, the rule for the borough was that you can only have like one name for the borough, like only one location. So it could either be Kensington or Chelsea, not both. But because they're both all posh and rich, and you can't argue with them. It had to be called the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, a very long word name. So basically a lot of other boroughs um, also broke that rule, and now that rule doesn't even exist, like Barking and Dagenham, or Hammersmith and Fulham. I learned that from a Jay Foreman video. I don't even know where that came into my head, but it just did. Removals, furniture, pick folds. Right, on our way to the last stop, Patney Bridge. And then this train will obviously continue down to Wimbledon, but um, we won't be doing that because that's not in the game. We will terminate at Putney Bridge. Right, speed limit 10. Slow down. Here we are cruising our way into the bridge named Putney. Train terminates here. Let's not crash into those um, lights. There we are. That will do. Two point two meters overrun, uh, underrun. That's all right. Five minutes forty nine late. That is quite bad. My rating, bad. Really? I mean, I know I'm five minutes late, but at least I'm not on strike. Twenty two point eight percent rating. Really? Nah, I reckon I've got a good, at least 50, come on, I got the train from Edgware Road to Putney Bridge. It's fine. I've managed to do it, it's fine. Thank you so much for watching. My, why is my camera all the way over here? Retake. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Great Western Transportation. And I will see you, I don't know when, bye!